Hey Tony, how are you going? Good, how are you doing? So we're here on the Sound Toys booth and yes, we you've are. got a new product. Yes, we did. After a few years of developing, our new plugin Superplay is finally here and I can guide you through it. And you can already hear it on my voice as I start turning up the mix knob, that uh, the familiar classic EMT 140 sound that you, a lot of our customers are already familiar from the little plate is now also in super plate. So not only did we bring in EMT 140, we also brought in a gold foil EMT 240, an Otacom plate, an Echo plate 3, and a Stock, uh, Stocktronics RX 4000 plate. Well, that's got a bit more sibilance. Exactly. Sizzle, oh, yeah. So each of the plate can be further saturated by three different styles here. So we have a tube saturation style that is modeled after the V54 tube amp in the EMT module, as well as the EMT162 solid state with a compression built-in kind of saturation style. And of course, you can take it off if you'd like. So each of the five plates can be further saturated via any of these modulations. So you've gone deep. Exactly. So yeah. So of course, just like Little Play, we have the same half a second decay all the way to infinity. And of course, we offer now a pre-delay that's built in to the reverb, so we can go from zero milliseconds all the way to 250 milliseconds of pre-delay, just straight from the box. And for the modulation part of it, we now have a variable depth control, as well as under the tweak menu, if we click this little button here, we can change the LFO from going from 0 0.2 hertz all the way up to 8 hertz now. And as you see, we have a very nice looking EQ that's on the output, so it affects only the reverb sound, not your dry signal. Right. So now we have a switchable um, dBs per octave on the slope for the high and low cut, so we can go from 6 dB all the way down to 24 dBs per octave, as well as two fully parametric bands that are, the cues are changeable by holding down the control key and dragging the knob. So this makes it super easy to uh, add some EQ on your um, reverb. For example, if there's too much sibilance, and you can find the frequency and turn it down just like that. That's great, because vis visualizing the uh, reverb EQ exactly. is quite difficult, isn't it? And that, exactly, that's, that's and it purpose. sounds amazing. So the very, very interesting feature that we have that's called Auto Decay here, you know, a lot of times we might want to compress or change the reverb with the rhythm of the signal, right? Yeah. But you might have to add a separate plugin afterwards. With it. this, we have a built-in sidechain that's listening to the dry signal. With a threshold control and a target control, it will dynamically shorten the decay of the actual reverb tail. So for example, I have a set to 30 second decay right now, but the target is shortening the louder parts of my voice down to one second. So it just splashes the, the, the kind of tail end into it rather than Exactly. The oh, right, that's cool. For example, if you're working with kick and drum, well, kick in a drum, for example, might want uh, a bit more upfrontness, drier sound. So just by turning down the threshold, for example, your kick uh, can have a shorter decay while the quieter parts of the drum have a longer decay. So this is super intuitive and I can change this just like that. And so mm -hmm. and that must be polyphonic then, to a degree, because if, you're, if you've got a kick drum going in and it's shortening it, and then you've got something longer, it's got the short one and then the long one on exactly. top. Exactly. Right. So it creates a very unique, clean, but very uh, movement heavy, kind of a dynamic reverb that breathes with your music. And it sounds amazing too. So. We also have built-in stereo control, so we can go from a mono reverb all the way to stereo just with a switch of a knob and a balance control as well. And as always, we have a dry and wet knob, which is really helpful if you want to use Super Played as an aux return and keep it on 100% wet. Or if you're a vocalist, you want to uh, record yourself and have a little bit of reverb on your vocal like I'm doing right now, set it to something like 10% or 20% and you're good to go. So this is available now, has it been announced? We're releasing it next month, and it will come out um, as the new Sound Toys 5.4 update. So for any users who already have Sound Toys 5, it will be $60 to upgrade, or $59 USD, 
to upgrade to the new bundle. And for any little plate users, it's also $59 to upgrade to the new super plate. And of course, you get to keep little play when you're upgrading. Now, for um, super plate is also coming to effect rack as an additional add-on license. So, for anybody who is already using effect rack, you can purchase super plate at the retail price, and then you can use it within effect rack. And of course, by buying super plate, you're also buying the license to use it on its own if you'd like to use it outside of effect rack. Great, Tony. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you, Nick, for coming. Good to see you.